All right, everybody. I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm still hearing that ding, ding, ding. I think there are probably people that deal with this much better than I do, but I find when I'm talking and the doorbell keeps going off, it's hard. I'm glad that we've got more people joining us, though. Um, Mary, if you can just nod at me, I'm forgetting in the slide. Is Lectio the very next thing? Am I? I am starting us off, starting us off. Okay. So, y'all, um, we, the last few weeks have been very, um, sort of presentation heavy. It's been me and Mary um, doing a lot of talking. And so today we are mostly gonna be handing over uh, the microphone to you all. And we're gonna do a little bit of workshopping. Um, Mary will say a little bit more about that in a bit, but it's gonna be both uh, individual work and work in small groups. So I know I've said it before, but I really, really mean it this time. If you don't have a journal or just an old fashioned piece of paper and a pen, go ahead and get that now because you're gonna have about 10 minutes uh, a little later on where you're actually gonna be working on, um, on your own and working through some of these questions um, that we've been working through as a group. So go ahead and get that now. Get a pen and a piece of paper if you don't have it already. Um, and today, like the other days, um, I am going to lead us in some Lectio Divina just to get centered and to ground us in this work. Um, this is where you're probably hearing the sirens in the background. This is where we um, get quiet enough that we can listen deeply for God and for um, the voices of some of our contemporaries. It's reading that's not for the sake of information or expanding our knowledge base, but um, to risk being moved and transformed by God's grace. So that's what we're doing when we do Lectio Divina. Um, Mary, if you would go to the next slide. I'm going to open us in prayer. And then I'm going to go ahead and read both of these um, both of these pieces together. We're not going to divide them this time. I'm just going to read them together. The first is a scripture from James. And the second is a quote from Dr. Emily Towns, who teaches um, womanist ethics at Vanderbilt currently. Um, and in the silence that follows these readings, about a minute, I would invite you to just hold on to that word or that phrase um, that is particularly striking to you. So I'm going to invite you to put both feet on the ground. Take a deep breath in. Breathing in God's abundant grace that is new this morning. And as you breathe out, I invite you to exhale anything that would prevent you from being present in this place this morning. Let us pray. Oh God, be present here in this sacred time and in this sacred space. Subordinate in us any voice but your own, that by your mercy we might be moved and built up for this work. Amen. A reading from James chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. You must understand this, my beloved. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, for your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourselves of all swordness and rank, growth of wickedness, and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. And from Dr. Emily Towns, liberation is about being on a journey, being in a movement, 
It's the process of coming into an awareness that there is definitely a better life for people to be had, not just for myself, but all of us. The church should be part of that. And where it is not, it is not the church. All right, making use of that chat feature, which you can find at the bottom of your screen. I invite you to share with one another what word or what phrase really struck you. Quick to listen, should be the implanted word, slow to anger. Welcome and meekness. Quick to listen, slow to speak. Not the church. Slow to speak. Coming into an awareness. journey. Rid yourself of all sordidness. Righteousness and awareness. All right, continue to hold that word or that phrase gently, and I'm going to read these pieces one more time. And this time in the silence that follows, I invite you to think about, well, to consider this God's word to you today and in this moment and to, in a sentence or to sum up what you think God is trying to say through that word or that phrase. Also a reminder that if you haven't muted yourself, go ahead and do that, please. So from James chapter one, verses 19 through 21. You must understand this, my beloved. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, for your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. And from Emily Towns, liberation is about being on a journey, being in a movement. It's the process of coming into an awareness that there is definitely a better life for people to be had, not just for myself, but for all of us. The church should be part of that. And where it is not, it is not the church. All right, and using the chat feature on the right side, what do you think God is saying through these pieces today? We are in the process of coming into awareness, not there yet. For all of us. Create a new palette to accept God's word and act on it. We need to be so intentional about what we are and aren't doing in the church. A journey, a process, quick to listen, slow to speak, doing this intentionally and thoughtfully. 
hear and register what is being said. The implanted word, take the word I already know and let it change me. Church must come alongside or behind. We are part, a partner. It comes down to relationships. Listen with calm humility and begin the journey. There is an understanding as the church for which we are coming towards and listening is critical part of that understanding. The power comes from the word. When we are not intentionally working to bring the vision of God's kingdom here on earth, we may be acting, but we are not acting as the church. Changing, learning is a journey. Unless you're Saul, Paul, that was pretty quick. Thank you all for taking this time. It's important. Mary, I'm going to hand it over to you. Can you hear me, Sarah? Yep. Good morning, everybody. I'm really glad to be here and also glad that this is going to be a time where you all get a lot more chance to have your own individual conversations with God in some quiet workshopping time and then be into small groups. Um, I'm having a hard time with this. Here we go. I don't know how to move there. I'm having a hard time getting out of here. <laughs> So I'm sharing this invitation to Brave Space. And for some reason, my computer isn't letting me minimize right now. So I'm gonna keep moving. I was gonna have some, some music playing while you read this poem by yourselves. The music is not gonna be there right now. But I just ask you to ground yourself in this poem. The last few times I've read it, but I think I'd like to, to invite you to read it silently on your own and notice where you are connecting to the poem today. We're going to move forward, moving into our brave space. Here is a portion of the Racial Roadmap template worksheet that we have shared in various places. Um, and what we're going to do is move into 10 minutes of quiet individual reflection, uh, where we invite you to start journaling, thinking, doodling, creating, coloring, art, thinking through some of your own early memories around messages that you received about race. I'll have this slide up here just to remind you, but I'm sure of, of one way to go about this, but I'm sure that many of you have your own way to do this. After 10 minutes of individual time, we will break it, go into breakout rooms for 20 minutes to support each other in this process. And we will, what, that time again is we're encouraging people to share only individual stories, being mindful of allowing space for everyone to share if they wish. This is the time for questions to only be clarifications, not debate, discussion, or fixing. Because remember the, what we're trying to encourage all of us to do is to have this be an individual process with the only other being in this with you is our Lord. Um, whoops, that's the wrong slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back uh, to this slide to, to have, you know, in case some of you need this as a, as a, as a thought starter. And I'm going to work on getting the music uh, started and um, here's our brave space. 
10 minutes of individual thought, reflection, and listening to God. Thank you, Mary. Just a logistical thing. While we're working on the background music for y'all, if you lose this screen, you can go, and that's the, the questions, <laughs> you can go over to the chat and I've uploaded where it says template and questions for discussion. You have access to that, which also gives you what you're seeing on your screen here. Can I get some heads nodding to say, yes, we see that that's been uploaded. Okay. Thank you all. Encouraging you all to bring yourself to a stopping point. And we are going to be moving into taking care of ourselves, paying attention to, for me, when I'm in these places where I'm thinking about the past and how I've navigated my life around issues of race, trying to hold that compassion for myself, the no wonder it's been so confusing or painful or guilt or anger producing. Sarah in a moment is going to be putting you into breakout rooms for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, Sarah, what did you end up deciding? I, I think we have the time, so we go for 25. Um, I'm looking at these breakout rooms right now, and I've got either four or five people in each room. Um, obviously, we haven't assigned official facilitators to any of these rooms, so it will be up to you all to figure out how to orchestrate your time together. Um, if you feel called to do that, um, I would just encourage you to listen to that and, um, and to take the invitation. Um, but I, I think we're gonna have uh, some good abundant time just to share what y'all have been reflecting on in the last 10. Mary, are you ready for me to do that yet? Or did you wanna Not say Not quite. Um, you, so uh, obviously sharing of what you've just been writing or thinking or feeling or praying about and or if there are, you know, you feel led or um, there's more time to go to a few other questions I have on this screen here, uh, created a, three additional ones. And so I think, Sarah, you had said you put that in one document you're going to put in the chat. Yes. So if you haven't done so already, because you won't have access to it when you go into the breakout rooms, go over to the chat feature and you can download the Word document that I uploaded, which gives you access to both those template questions that you were working with in the individual workshopping shopping time, as well as these three questions that are up on the screen right now. I don't think we need all of you to upload it, but if we could have one or two in each group that have done that so that you have access to it in the breakout rooms, that would be good. So if you can upload it now, Please download. Yeah, download it. Thank you. Okay, so um, go with the spirit. 
and we'll see you in 25 minutes. Welcome back to the main room. Y'all can't see, but I have a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, watch it, 2, 1. Oh. Hey, good. good. <laughs> Never I'm gets old, well, I, I get the countdown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sarah. Thanks a lot. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Y'all, please do seek each other out. This isn't the only place where we can be having these good conversations. <laughs> so do finish those thoughts. Um, Y'all, thank you for your engagement with this. I have to say, as the host, it's a little bit strange because I'm not, I can't be in one of those breakout rooms. So I'm just, I'm, I'm basically sitting here and trusting and praying that um you know they're going well and that the spirit is moving but that's sort of the <laughs> the extent that i can do when you all go there so i hope that um, i think you can you can see some i hope that was fruitful eyes. um all right we are going to move we've got about four minutes left um you know this work that you did both individually and then together in the breakout rooms it's it's an important part of the process of um this anti-racism journey, just because none of us are exempt, you know, from doing that work, whether we're going to share it extensively with each other or not. Um, so thank you for taking the time um, to do that today. Um, it's also, we're hoping that we're starting to build some confidence that not only do we indeed have these stories, um, but that they can surface and we can claim them and hopefully um, some of you will feel more comfortable as we continue going through the semester um, signing up to be the person really with the mic in the big room um, offering your racial roadmap uh, much like Mary did um, a couple of weeks ago so I'm going to go over to the chat once more here and paste uh, here we go hope you all can see that the sign up genius um, that's for the sessions through December that um, we'll be handing the mic to one of you, so to speak, to share your racial roadmap journey with us. Um, as I've been kind of going through these exercises myself and reflecting on these early memories, I'm finding that, you know, there are lots of threads that, that make us who we are and our racial identity is one of those threads. Um, but what I'm finding as I kind of lift it up and trace it is that it, it, it does affect all other um, parts of my life and vocation in, in, in ways that I, I, I wasn't as aware before. So it's been um, illuminating and it, 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 it's just reminding me that um, of all those different quotes said in different ways that, you know, until we're all free, none of us are, are free. And I, I have found that it has been freeing. So I hope that y'all are having um, a similar experience. Um, Sarah, yes. Can I just say I offered before that I'm happy to talk and be a sounding board for anybody, though I have, I know that <laughs> I'm, I'm confident every single one of you could, could share if you so chose and wouldn't need to be, have me be a sounding board. Um, I think, you know, as you're planning, we're talking about 15 to no more than 20 minutes of sharing so that there's time for processing in the big group on the end, kind of like a parameter. And it doesn't have to look like mine. I hope you all know that already, but I wanna emphasize that. Uh, pictures don't have to be included. It could be all a narrative. There could be, I'm sure, any number of different ways to present. So I look forward to, to, to hearing some of your stories. Yeah, and we can help you with the logistical piece as well. So if you're feeling like, yes, I'd love to share, but this format having to do it over Zoom is nerve wracking, um, don't let that be a reason not to share. We can we can talk you through that. You can send us your pictures. We can do all this stuff uh, that needs to be done from a logistical standpoint. So just know that. Charles Key is actually gonna get us started on October 4. That's the next time we have a sharing of a racial roadmap and he has agreed um, to do that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, we've got one minute left here. I'm wondering if y'all would head over to that chat feature and uh, I usually find at the end of um, 
spending this kind of time in individual processing and, and processing with people, I usually have a question that I'm taking with me into the week and into the next session. Um, so I'm wondering if there's a question that you are left with today, what is that question? Um, and I invite you to put that in the chat as we close our time together. We won't seek to answer them today, but we'll take it with us. Can you tell me where to find the chat feature on an iPhone? <clears throat> oh boy. Can anyone help a brother out? I cannot. <laughs> it looks like a little talking cartoon voice bubble. You just click on it. On my um, iPhone, I had to go to the more button with the three dots. And then it's there. And then, there. And then it said chat at the top. Oh, you mean one of those? So, you mean one of those? You see the so turn your turn your uh, phone horizontally. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, when you press when you touch the screen, for me on the far right it says more, M -R -E. Okay. And then I touch that and chat is at the top of the list that comes up. Thank you. There you Thank go. You. you bet. Thank you all. I Thank love you. that. I have a couple questions have over, a couple here. Questions over um, here. How do I have compassion for myself while holding myself accountable? Did integration help the black community? Are there people who would wish to covenant long term to learning, growing, and supporting each other in awareness and action? The question of what did I learn once I'd had an, an experience, is that then or now? With whom may I be angry? In whom may I be disappointed other than myself? My question is going to examine how my kids remember their first racial memory and how I might have influenced that. Thank you all. Um, let's pray. Oh God, for moving among oh God, us, for moving among us, from your word to the voices of one another, to pen and paper with background music, and into breakout rooms in a virtual space, and back again, I give you thanks. I pray that what has been felt and absorbed and named and shared here might bear fruit, that we would all find ourselves more whole, more faithful, and that through this work, your church might be built up for the living of these days. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Amen. Thank you all. Peace be with y'all. See you in worship. <laughs> Peace.